dating, yes. talking about money. Yeah. What's your views on who should pay for the date? Oh, okay. So I've got a mental rule of if I go out for a first date, yeah, and um, I would do I would gesture a half. Would you? Like, how do yeah. you do it? Like, oh, No, I would gesture a half, right? Are you gesturing? Show me how you're gesturing. Whip out the purse. Be all real. No, like, I'm really going to pay, yeah? Okay. But it's slightly a test. Okay. okay. Yeah? I'm not going to lie. I'm, I will follow through, but it's slightly a test. So if he's like, oh, no, nah, no. Nah, and okay. I'm like, no, nah, are you sure? Like, <laughs> yeah? Because I'm real. I will pay. Yeah. yeah? But I ain't paying at all for the first bill. Even okay. if I like the guy, I'm going to keep it real. <laughs> I'm not. So you go on dates with people you don't like. That's what you just No, said. no, no, no. But you might have that convo yeah, yeah, and then yeah. it's all turned down okay. after that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So at the table, I'm still establishing, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. So if I then establish, you know what, I would like a second date and he says to me, no, I'm going to pay for the bill, I'd let him. Right. But if I do not like him yeah. and he says he's going to pay for the bill, I'm slapping down my card. Wow. Yeah. Because I'm not gonna cut and you've paid for half the bill and then you're trying to call me yeah and it feels like you're trying to hold me to ransom i'm not down uh, men do that you know yeah i, be, I bought it took you here you know Is, no I we're not doing here, we are not doing that <laughs> yeah but if if i like you and yeah. like it's just formality but you pay then i'm okay with that my white friend they don't do this big dinner for first day. They go for coffee. This is what I'm talking about, yeah. the difference of yeah. money. Yeah. We want to be going out for a little £100 meal, £50 no. Pound each. No. Well, we could go to Starbucks and spend £4.50 and realise we don't like the guy, keep it moving. Yeah. It's mentality. I've, I've, I've learned <laughs> this. I can. I'm glad. <laughs> I'm on the right track, that means, because guess what? My really good friend has set me up on a date okay. with a guy. The guy mm-hmm. didn't know what I looked like, and I was so happy about that, yeah? Okay. And then I knew what he looked like. He didn't know what I looked like. And guess what I said to him? Coffee. I said to him, yeah. I said, I'm cool. I just want to have an easy breezy. Let's yeah. just meet and actually just make that first meet. And I do not want him to do this whole charade yeah, yeah, yeah. of this, that and the other. And also, I think in this time, it it kind of makes men feel like they need to do that. Mm-hmm. And then obviously they're backbiting after you, yeah, yeah, you've yeah. gone. Like, yeah. oh, she made me go to here. Yeah, and, 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 uh, and I don't even like her. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah? <laughs> So I was just like, coffee, let's see. But guess what? He was just like, do you know what? My friend was like, I'm going to book a place for you both and then you can go. You know, he say it all up and I like, I really appreciate him for that. I need that friend, yo. Listen, <laughs> like... he's, no, he's the best. He's actually the best. But that's how I deal with the dating because, thing. I mean, what do you think some of the struggles are for men, black, oh white and indifferent? Do you think, do you think men mm-hmm. have greater financial strains than women? In a way, no, because if you look at the current times of the maintenance of a woman, mm. an expectation from a man of the maintenance of a woman, mm-hmm. we pay a lot. We do. Yeah. How much are we paying? Let's chop that up first. If you're a woman in I think 2020, too much, definitely. How much are we paying to maintain? You said maintenance. Yeah. How much are we paying to maintain? Gosh, let me do quick math. Do quick maths. Break it down for me. We can do a little sum on the screen. Yeah. yeah. So it's like the lashes regularly every three weeks. It's like thirty pound, right? Yeah, Forty five. For, you go 45 for the top up i think it's mine is like 30 too, but yeah. so do i i think we go to the same <laughs> lady <laughs> anyway go on. yeah yeah she's good um so so you got 30 45 pounds with the lashes then you want to do brows right that's yeah, like yeah, another yeah. seven pound i think yeah. it is now i, like I don't do it i ain't I, done it for long yeah yeah, yeah? Me too. right I see you yeah. listen <laughs> And then, obviously, makeup. I luckily don't buy so many rounds of makeup mm. each month. I know a lot of women do yeah. buy a top up every month. So, God, let's talk about the average woman. That would be like another twenty five a month. Not even because some people buy all Fenty and stuff. Fenty's and meant to be expensive. No, Mac is more than Fenty. And okay, is let's it? say let's say forty a month because you're not buying well, the makeup. same foundation. Yeah, you might buy a new lipstick. Or lipstick. Whatever. Right, yeah. So, what about nails? Nails is for me. I spend. 60, 70 buffs every single time because I get oh. the toes and my nails done, my hands done. So yeah. Every two weeks? No, not every two weeks. I've now stretched it to three weeks. <laughs> okay. And lockdown showed me a couple of things in it because okay. I was like, it does actually last, but yeah. I like them looking fresh. fresh. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I stretch it out now. What about a little wax? Do you wax or? Hair removal. Okay. Now, um, and when I did the calculations for the hair removal, you may as well go towards hair removal. Anyone that's listening now, do permanent <laughs> hair removal. Do not do so the wax. So laser you're talking about. Yeah. Laser's hundreds. It is hundreds, but if you look at the investment. Also, let me just talk okay. about my hair. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I spend, Ooh, I think, maybe bundles. around about £800 all in to get my hair done. 
Yeah. Is yes. That when? Yes. Sorry. Wait. 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 Yes. What, what, what are you wearing? Anyone that wants to know about my hair, yeah, if you can see in the images, right? <laughs> it can lift up. It can do bob. It can go back stuff. Oh, so it, you got like the micro thing. Listen. I want the things. Right. You know. It's not micro rings. It is threading. Oh. And it's healthy. It's good for your hair. Okay. It doesn't cut your okay. hair. The glue don't go in your hair. Right. The facts of the matter is, is but I'm happy. I did just say hey, eight hundred pound, right? But listen to this. I found, actually found someone cheaper, right? But listen to this, right? If I spend eight hundred pound mm -hmm. and being a hairdresser through experience and qualification myself, oh wow, right? Yeah. I don't have what to. What do you do yourself? But no, no, no. I wouldn't do the knots myself because you're literally doing it to the root. Okay. And partitioning each section because it's really tiny. Right. So you do need someone to do it, even if you can do it. Yeah. Right. So with the insulation, it's that. Right. That's what you call for me an investment because <laughs> that hair then lasts three to five months. Okay. And but I don't have to go hairdressers again. Month, that's still like 150 a month. Yeah. But then listen, how, I used to spend... Probably about mm, yeah. 70 to 100 pound every two weeks. I'm not going to lie. When my hair was short, I used to cut my hair. And cut? Yeah, to keep cut, it fresh? Yeah. Colour maybe? Relax. Yeah, yeah. That would be a one you know, every three weeks maybe. Okay. Okay. Yeah. But not just that. I got glam real quick. <laughs> like real quick. No effort. I ain't got no wig on, wig off. So when I'm laying next to the man, I don't have to do... You see, you see what I'm saying? I'm not really good with the wigs anyway. Right? So we got that. But then the other thing is... The hair that you've purchased, mm. the next time you do an installation, so at the three to four, five month mark, then you just pay so for wait, the installation again. Is the 800 including the hair? Yeah, including okay. the hair and including the, the hair prep because I get like a, a hair treatment Jeez. put in first. So like it, bundles now are like what, 150 a bundle? It's ridiculous. So, okay. Let's, okay, so... For a woman, whatever the sum is that's at the bottom of the screen right now, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's the maintenance. So going back to the men, yeah, all they gotta do is go barbers fifteen pound, fifteen pound, and for the hex expensive ones, it's twenty pound, <laughs> and that's it. For the ones that come home, that's like, and what? they might spend. We we spend on perfume as well, but yeah. they might spend on on yeah. their aftershave as well. But and the aftershave's only thing, not cheap. But no, it's not. They do spend more on their clothing and attire, I guess, yeah, because true. of their branding. But now they got that. Yeah. They do because they're unlikely to wear pre-marked jeans going to a date. Whereas sure. I'm not going to lie. If the pre-marked thing look good, good. I I'll is wear wearing it. it. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. I don't care. I'm not name I'm brand. I'm a PLT girl all, all day. Even that. Yeah? yeah. I'm not name brand. I keep it trill. Yeah. I try to look quality. Oh, wait, why you got your bag there though? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. 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 Positioned. I'm not. She I'm not. I'm not. Oh, Hold on, wait, but the black and gold. The wait, the, the black and gold. The black and gold. I like black and gold, didn't it? That's my thing. And that bag will just last for long. Yeah. Not long. Anyway, going back to you. <laughs> I like, see, you can see there's a trend. I like quality. Yeah. Lasts for long. Mm -hmm. It's an investment. That's okay. how I see it. All right, all right. Cool, cool, yeah. cool.